Guys, do you know how to use Swagger in UiPath? In this video, we are going to see what is Swagger, what is the main purpose of Swagger, and we are also going to get a demo on how to use Swagger in UiPath Studio. Everything in detail we are going to see in this video. So without making any further delay, let's get started. So the very first thing, let's understand what is Swagger. So Swagger is an open source tool. And this open source tool helps you to build API, define APIs, right? You can put the definitions in a standard way, right? That is a small definition of what is a Swagger. It is an open source tool. Now UiPath has built its own Swagger definitions. So you can see how to open this Swagger. First of all, we need to learn how do you open the Swagger and then we are going to talk about a couple of things in Swagger. Now to open Swagger, the very first thing you have to do, go to your cloud.uipath.com. And once you are there in the cloud.uipath.com, the very first thing you have to do, copy the URL. Okay, copy the URL until here, until orchestrator. Until orchestrator, you can see, until here you have to copy. Open a new browser and then paste it. So once you paste it, all you have to do simply type this swagger forward slash index.html. Okay, this is how you have to type. So let me put it in a notepad so it becomes quite easy to see. See, this is my orchestrator URL and I'm saying swagger forward slash index.html. That's all you have to do. The moment you do and hit on enter, what would happen? You can, you'll be able to see the swagger has come over here. Okay, the so Swagger will load. Now the very first thing you have to do once you launch the Swagger, there is a button here. It is asking you to authorize, right? It is asking you to authorize. So simply click on this button. If you have already opened uh, your cloud.uapa.com or your orchestrator, it is all by default is going to populate the client ID and everything. All you have to do is simply authorize. So once you clicked on authorize, this is how it will appear. Your client ID, client secret and the logout. That means you have already authorized now you just have to close it here you can see the lock button has been locked so now what is the swagger that that is the main question that we have for example on my orchestrator if i want to know how many different folders i have if you see i have a folder called it i have a folder called shade my works is by by default it comes so these are my folder it and shade two different folders i have got let's say i would like to know hey can you pull how many folders you have in your orchestrator it could be four it could be five it could be more than that if i have to do that it is quite easy with the help of swagger so as i said swagger is a api tool right for uh, web api tool for orchestrator orchestrator apis if you scroll down the list there are multiple different apis list here i am going to give you an example of the folder so click on this folder okay all of you click on the folder now in the folder you see there are multiple different APIs being defined, get, post and all that. What is it? If you are not aware, not to worry. I am going to discuss everything in detail. Get. Let's say I would like to get how many different folders are there. Okay, how many different folders are there in orchestrator. Now for that, all I have to do is simply expand this. Once I expand here, it tells try it out. So click on try it out. Now once you have clicked try it out scroll down below you have something called execute and it is saying hey these are different parameters which you can pass but here nothing is mandatory see there is no star mark so in such a case you don't have to pass anything over here simply hit on execute so after you execute if you scroll down you can see server response this is important okay server response and the code is 200 means successful and here it is showing you different output Okay, this output let's read by downloading it. So let me hit on download. And you can see a .json file been downloaded. Click on this JSON file. And here you'll be able to see the different folder names. For example, if you carefully look at this, first it's saying display name is shared. So you have a folder called shared, that means. Now if I scroll down here it, again, it's saying you have a display name called IT. That means this is another folder name called IT. And you have multiple different parameters, full quali qualified name and all of that. But again, display name is IT. So, and it's ID, lot of details would come around the folder. 
but here i am able to fetch and know how many different folders i have i have and using this data probably i can perform something in the future likewise you have got multiple such api definitions right for example uh, if i want to know a robot right robot related or you want to delete a robot create a robot so all these actions can be performed using the api for example let me scroll down jobs you have uh, machines you have do you see processes uh, queue definitions robots for example if i click on robot you can see how many different robots like we have pulled the folder names similarly you have for robots right uh, uh, delete delete a robot all these actions can be performed using a link so now we manually used swagger and downloaded the file and we read the file and saw okay these are the different things have come how about using the same swagger link in uapa studio and use it now for that open uapa studio process in a blank process i am going to uh, use a activity called http request okay so there is something called orchestrator http request remember this there are two different so this is orchestrator http request and this is part of your uipa system dot activities drag and drop it now once you drag and drop how do you configure so you know there are multiple different methods get means you are getting something from the source post means you want to update something in the source so here we are trying to get the folder names so i am selecting get and then it is asking for providing a relative endpoint you provide the endpoint the url you have to provide right how it will interact with the orchestrator now for that go back to the swagger and here you have this right get o data and here there is a button small button to copy to clipboard so copy this go back to the studio and here in the relative endpoint put a double quote and paste it pretty simple okay now payload payload means what if you have to share some data with the endpoint right let's say orchestrator name so in this case there is no payload required because if you look at the definition there is no mandatory field if there is a star mark in any of the parameter we have to pass that using the payload so here it's not required so i'll leave it as it is and on the output side right where the output would come i would like to receive the output in json response here let me create a simple variable and name it as j response okay and this j response okay there is a variable called j response and this j response is a string type it's a string variable that means it is going to pull the data from orchestrator and give you a similar output right similar output in a string format so you can see j response i have created now to write it to a, a test file i will use a write text activity write text file activity drag and drop this and here text what you would like to write i would like to write j response and where would you like to write you can give some name okay orchestrator folder name in double quote you can write double quote orchestrator folder name okay i have given a file name and i am going to simply run it from here okay now you can see the compiling has started and it is now okay this is done and now this is done so it has written now for that simply go to once it is done go to your projects folder and refresh it if you refresh you can see orchestrator folder name has come many times you may not see this because check, check this uh, filter symbol and see if other is checked if other is not checked see i am not able to see the file so ensure the other is checked and you will be able to see the file now let's double click on the file and let's open it in notepad so you can see the json string has come and here, here you can see the display name shade has come and then over the other one uh, it 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 format wide wrap so let me search for display name this is one what is the other display name uh, process okay here it is okay display name it so here you can see there are two things which has appeared properly similar way this is just an example similar way you can utilize multiple different uh, you know uh, get post put 
delete the folder all these actions can be performed just by copying this url right and here if you see for delete for example if i show you delete if i expand it okay so there is a required parameter okay it is saying key so all of this i can create more videos on how do you use and pass a parameter but again as a beginner you have got an understanding how to use swagger and how to use that in a ui pass studio so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in the next video if you have questions do comment that you have understood this and you have further questions on which i can create content thank you take care bye bye